Okay, so this week we're doing a painting of a brown trout. You can see I started off with my sketch here, and it's just a rough sketch of what's going to happen. And this was a very difficult painting to do because of all the technical aspects of it. Uh, not something that I would probably do if I did again in Procreate. I would probably do the rod, the reel, the net in another program, and then maybe do the fish and the rocks in Procreate. But this was a special request by Matt Karcheski, a friend of mine. And so we decided, well, we'll go ahead and give it a try all in Procreate. You can see here I'm doing the rocks. And I did find a texture that I liked uh, for the rocks. Matter of fact, I, I think they like the rocks. Uh, they're one of my favorite parts of the painting. And then they get totally covered up by the painting. But I'll show you what they look like. First started with uh, just a sponge texture and then came in with just a regular brush to kind of uh, kind of outline the rock shapes and then coming back in with lights and darks. Uh, still using the sponge a lot and then I wanted to make them look like they were wet rocks and so put in the gloss and the shine there and then the darker dark like some water over top of the rocks in places you can see there. So here's just a picture of just what the rocks look like underneath the painting. And then of course I had to go on top of that and then draw the net uh, which was again a very a uh, difficult thing to do in this program. I created probably and told five different brushes for this particular painting, new brushes in Procreate. One for just the net that you see here. Uh, I created a brush to kind of make that look like somewhat like rope and kept going back over with some dark rope and then I went with light rope and then a lighter rope and then back with dark and then an airbrush to back on top of that. And then I did the wood part of the net and then put in some drop shadows to give it some depth and make it pop off the page. And then I started working on the reel on the cork handle here um, and just trying to get the idea of cork. And so it was it was interesting and a little bit more difficult than I again like I than I expected. And then going up to the wooden part of the of the reel. And you can see here then the metal cap. Again, these are things I would normally do in a more technical program like Illustrator, but I wanted to try to do it all in Procreate, all freehand uh, as best as possible. And it was, like I said, it was a pretty tricky thing. But I think it, in the end it turned out okay. Now the, this part of the reel was probably the most difficult, and if you look closely you can see that things are not spaced evenly um, like they would be if they were machined. But I think in the end you don't it's kind of a minor part of the painting, so you don't really focus on it, so it's okay. Then I threw just part of the line in there to give it a, so it can get an idea of this is a fly fishing thing. And then started working on the trout, putting some underpainting in, uh, the greens, the yellows, and then just the, some, the dots, or as my daughter called them, the freckles. And then just coming back and then on that underpainting, just painting layer upon layer of different shades uh, because a wet fish has got all these different looks to it so I, I'll put it you can see blue in there and there's yellow in there uh, there's some orange in there uh, and all these different layers to give that fish some even though it's a fish that's been caught and it's laying out it's still supposed to have some life in it and so we have all these different colors that we're layering inside there uh, and some of them are very subtle but they do add at the end and then going through and putting in all the scales. And I sped this part up because this took a while to do. Um, but, uh, and you'll see I kind of go through and I say, oh, that doesn't look like right. So I erased them all and did them again. And basically what you do is put down a light color first. And then I'm going to come back and put the shadows around the light color. I don't draw like all the little X's in between. I put all the white highlights first and then come back and then You'll see now I'm going in with a darker color around that to give it the scale shape. And then I'm going to come back on top of that and add highlights back in again. So it's a layering process just like fur would be a layering process. So you can see now I'm coming back in and hitting those scale shapes with white highlight to give the shine of a wet fish that's laying out on the rocks. And then have to come back in and put the uh, black speckles of this particular fish back on top of that. So it's again, like I said, it's a layering process just like I would be doing fur, but this time it's scales that we're layering. And also you see that line that goes down the center. The scales, you have to pay attention because the scales go in different directions from above that line and below that line. And so you kind of have to look really closely at the fish to get it to look right. 
Um, and it does, it's a little tedious. And uh, like I said, I sped this up uh, pretty fast. Uh, maybe I think two times or three times the uh, normal speed, try to, try to get it so you wouldn't be bored by watching me paint a bunch of white dots and stippling basically and trying to follow some sort of pattern as I went down here. And then I'm gonna come in with yellow because it really doesn't there, when on the bottom part there, it's not as bright white. The shine wouldn't be as bright white on there. And he has like uh, the, where the brown dots are, there's a white shine that goes around that. So now you can see the yellow on the bottom there. And just kind of layering that again. Then I put some washes of color over top of that. And then just finishing up with the fins and then some more shading and there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe.